Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, look at how this computer is booting. Okay, now every computer maker has a, has a hot key to get to this menu right when it's booting up. Okay, so notice that, uh, that basically I hit F12. This is a Dell, that, I'm sorry, this is a Lenovo we're on. So F12 is the correct key. Uh, for whatever computer, um, computer maker, it might be different. Sometimes it's F10, usually it's F10 or F12. Um, so uh, occasionally it's Escape, I think, for HP, but you, but you need to look it up. So basically just Google it, just whatever the startup device menu is. Okay, so you search hotkey startup device menu and then put in the computer maker you're using okay so let's say we get to a startup menu like this now what we're trying to do is we're trying to boot into clonezilla right so we have a um a usb device which is a legacy usb device it's not uefi okay so we, when you're booting it's either uefi or legacy legacy uses like a boot sector on the device itself on the hard drive or whatever you're booting to uefi essentially uses just a file somewhere on the system uh, that's pointed to by by the the uh, device, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so <laughs> I'd have to research a cogent response. Anyway, there are two systems, okay, legacy and UEFI. Now, this system right now, so notice that I have a, I have a, a device plugged in, okay, and it's a USB. So notice that I click on generic USB device. It just doesn't boot, right? It shows it in the, in the boot menu, okay, but it doesn't boot to it. All right, because it's a legacy device and the computer is set to only boot from UEFI. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to go in and change some of these settings. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click the hot key to enter the BIOS. Now this is usually F. It's F1 on on Lenovo's. I think on Dell it's F1 also. It's either Escape F1 or F2 usually. Okay, um, but look up once again. Look up the hot key for your computer maker. Okay. All right, so you, your computer probably won't have a password in the BIOS. Check my last video to, uh, to reset that password if necessary. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is, there are a couple places you have to look, depending on your BIOS, right? One, you can't have secure boot enabled. So secure boot is a US, U, uh, UEFI feature. Okay, and there's a lot of warnings on secure boot, okay? So secure boot is, um, we need to disable it, okay? So we're going to go ahead and hit enter here and we're going to hit disable. Okay. Then we're going to hit escape. All right. So secure boot's going to be disabled. All right. Um, uh, now it's going to warn you. It's going to say, hey, in a lot of cases, hey, you know, this is going to cause all kinds of problems for your computer. And in fact, it might. Okay. So if you're wanting to run this something on this computer, um, I would I would recommend not changing it out of secure boot. Okay, so you are you know it's possible that you could hose your computer in this case. Uh, in general, if it won't boot, you just come back in and turn it back on, and it will function fine. Um, but turning off secure boot, especially on Windows like uh, 8.1 to 10, is uh, you know can can be problematic. So so just be careful. All right. Uh, and by be careful, I mean maybe change it, try to boot. If it doesn't, if it has problems, come back in and immediately change it back with the four, before changing any other options. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go to startup. Now, in this case, I can't change the boot mode off of UEFI, and that's because the CSM is on. So in this case, I don't know why they call it CSM. It's just compatibility. So it's just you're, basically they have a separate uh, thing to control whether you can turn on legacy boot mode. Okay, so we're just going to click enable. In your BIOS, I've also seen it just just legacy, you know, can legacy be done? So basically you need to get in the BIOS, find where it says legacy boot and enable it, okay? Uh, boot mode, we're gonna put auto, okay? In this case, it's a newer BIOS. Auto is gonna work just fine for us. We can also just specify legacy or specify UEFI. Okay, if auto doesn't work, then go to legacy if that's what you're trying to boot into, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in and change the primary boot sequence. So this is the order in which uh, it looks to boot. Okay, so this is the automatic order. Now we're just going to select a device, but we also can just change the order in which we're we're going to um, Okay, so in my case I have to include first and that's using an X So notice on the right here notice up in this menu. It says X excludes forward slash includes Okay, so um so now I have my USB, USB key already up there. 
Um, I just put all the USBs at the top. If you use network boot, you put that at the top too. That way, if you want to boot to something different rather than the hard drive, it's just already up there. If you're trying to secure a lab though, you might remove all this stuff, right? So if you want to secure a lab, you would remove all of this USB stuff, right? If you want to make sure that they only boot from the network or from the hard drive, you would, you would try to lock it down as good as possible. At the end of the day, if a person has physical access to a device, that's, that's it. You know, if they have physical access, you know, it's, they're meant, these are, these are machines. They're meant to be to administered, right? So, okay. So we're going to go ahead and everything's set. We turned on our UFI. We changed the boot sequence. Okay. We're going to get out of this menu. And so we're basically back here. Okay. So secure boot is off. Um, UEFI is turned on. Now on the secure boot, I will tell you that um, I did not turn this on before, and it did not stop me from loading a USB. So uh, take that with a grain of salt, I guess. Um, but okay, so those are your you, those are your options. Basically, you want to turn on legacy uh, boot, and that should let you boot to your USB. I did the boot sequence as well, and I turned off secure boot. Okay, so let's see how that worked. We're going to go ahead and save, so F10 to save. And it's going to boot up. We want to get to our boot menu, which means hitting F12 because this is Lenovo. And there we have our US, USB key. Okay. In this case, um, we were trying to load Clonezilla. Okay, so there's our Clonezilla. And basically, we just want to boot into uh, to other modes, and then we want to put the, the Clonezilla into RAM. Uh, that way we can uh, take out the USB later on. So, Okay. And there it goes. All right, so I hope that helped. Uh, best of luck on your project.